Again, we're gonna pick up one and we're gonna walk together with it just around the alpha. So if I pick this one up, we're gonna walk around and talk about things that start with a W or have a W in them, because that's our first one. So I'm gonna say, I'm wonderful, how about you? She's wonderful too. Hey everyone, it's Chris from Flag House, and this week I'm here with Coach John Smith, and we're gonna get outside of the physical for a bit, and we're gonna talk about social emotional learning. Social emotional learning is what physical education teachers have been doing for ages. It's just now one of the buzzwords. When we talk about cooperation, we talk about feelings, we talk about how kids work together and cooperate. That's social emotional learning. So we've got some great activities using a kit that you can get from Flag House coming up next. And hey, if you like activities and ideas like this, then you need to be subscribing to the Flag House Activity Channel. We always have brand new ideas from experts like John every single week. Coming up next, it's the Social Emotional Learning Kit from the Flag House Activity Channel. Today we have our social emotional learning kit. It's filled with items and equipment that you can use for your SEL classes, your social emotional learning. The first thing we're gonna do is a dice activity. Your group will have three or four or five people in a group. Each of you will have a number. If, the num if you roll the die and the number comes up, you have to say something good about yourself to the rest of your group. So if I was number three, and number three came in, and this is my group, I, I'm tall and handsome. I heard that I'm good at soccer, I can play Fortnite. Good. I didn't hear anybody say they're good at math yet. <laughs> He's amazing at sports, wow. You could change that to being things that I love to do, things that I feel sad about, people I like to work with, my favorite subject in school, okay? So you can tell people about yourself, about you as a person. The next one is a group of three activity. So you're gonna need a group of three in a little bit. And in the three, we're gonna do over, under, around, through. This is one of our, our catch activities. Okay, and this one, two people in your group will be holding the scarves just like this. And the third person, the third person has to do the activity. Okay, the first one is gonna be under, which means you're gonna have to go under the scarves and back to where you are. So you're gonna go under, then around me and back. All the way over, take Hugo's place. Take his place, now he has to go under. But there's so many of these, I'm gonna to try to trick you once in a while as to whether it's over or under or around, and there might be more. Are you all set? Okay. Next one is through. Yeah, how are you gonna do that? Oh, perfect over there. Think of who that person is, whether they're tall or short. Good work, John. Good work. Now, if I give you two of them, if I give you two, like under, around. So the number one would have to go under and then around back to a spot, around everybody in their group. Okay? Oh, I'm gonna get harder now. Ready? Over, through, under. Okay, over, through, Okay, Peyton's my partner. Watch what's gonna happen. Again, we're gonna pick up one and we're gonna walk together with it just around the alpha. So if I pick this one up, we're gonna walk around and talk about things that start with a W or have a W in them, because that's our first one. So I'm gonna say, I'm wonderful, how about you? Uh, I'm wonderful too. She's wonderful too. I like to watch, um, Let's see, oh, I, I like to eat white macaroni and cheese. I, I like to drink water. Oh, drink water. So we talk, so as soon as we get around, then we drop it, and now it's Peyton's turn to pick up one. Oh, gee, here we go. 
I like popcorn and pizza. Oh, uh, I don't like pepperoni. <laughs> okay, your turn. Last one. We found out about pizza and popcorn because we picked up P. We both like pizza and popcorn. John, what you find out about you go? We found out we both don't like Burger King and we should go to Wendy's. Yeah, okay, so they're finding out about things about the other person. So in our social emotional learning kit, we have thumb walls, which talks about some of our emotions and things we do. Catch it, put your thumb on it, and you can set, talk about that. We have a group jump rope, a long jump rope that everybody could use at the same time. We had our scarves that we did the over, under, round through. We had our dice. Oh, there's our letters over there. Peyton's got one of our, to talk about. So it's learning about each other, learning about your friends, learning about people who have different ideas. And look at all these things that are in there. And it comes with a teacher guide too, just to get you started. And that's our social emotional learning kit. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Feel free to like, share, or comment on this video, especially if you've got your own ideas for this week's episode. Click over here to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll get updates when we bring you new phys ed ideas. Check out more from our library of over 150 activity channel episodes here and get downloadable activity guides and lesson plans at flaghouse.com here. See you next time on the Flaghouse Activity Channel.